What is up everybody, it is Epilogy Stick and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are going to be talking about what is the best video recording software for PC and the answer is pretty simple. I just recently found out this software and I'm gonna admit it, it's one of the best video recording software I have ever used in my life, probably the best one. And I'm gonna be honest, I have used many 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 different ones and out of all of them, this one has to be the best one. Now here are some things I have to say for it, alright? So the first thing is that, well these are kind of like pros and cons, but I'm kind of saying them early, but whatever. So well, it barely takes out any FPS, which you know, video recorders love to take out FPS and that's one of the biggest issues people have with video recording softwares, right? But this one, it barely takes out any FPS. Sometimes it doesn't even take out any FPS, which is like this. The perfect thing for a video for any video recording software that's just kind of what you need you know and not only does it barely take out any fps um the the video quality is very good also like the the quality of the video is just really good it almost looks like you're actually playing it instead of like you know it look it looking like a video like once you already recorded i mean if you're ch taking checking it out you know like the video file it's gonna look like you're just playing it again pretty much it's just gonna look like it just looks very good that's my point but there's just one con to it as far as i know and that is the file sizes are too big okay like um it's kind of like fraps it's not that big but it's quite big i think it's a little smaller than fraps though which kind of makes it really awesome because fraps does take out quite a bit of fps and the file sizes are really big as well and the quality isn't all that good so, you know, this makes mirrorless way better than Fraps, actually, if you're gonna compare with Fraps. Oh shit, I just said what it was. Yeah, it's mirrorless action, I think I just said it. But, yeah, that's the software, it's mirrorless action. Uh, you guys were all probably waiting for me to just say what it was, right? And yeah, it's mirrorless action, Th that's the name of the software. You guys must at least try it out using, um, using at least like a trial version or something. It does have a watermark, but... If you're gonna record your screen like at your desktop and record tutorials and things like that then then it won't put any watermark on those but if you're gonna record video games then yeah it's gonna put watermark but just buy it. it's totally worth it now comparing it with fraps um action probably well yeah it does have a better fps handling but the file sizes are pretty much the same so you don't really have to worry about that if you have a good um you know hard drive or an sdd card or whatever you call it and you know you have a lot of space on your pc you shouldn't worry about the file sizes pretty much and yeah that's pretty much it and we're gonna compare it with bandicam action has way better fps handling but the file sizes are just way bigger than Bandicam's file size. Bandicam's file sizes are really small, but Bandicam does not, you know, take care of FPS handling very well. They 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 bring down a lot of FPS. I'll show you some gameplay comparisons in a while, but before that, I have to say a few more things. And yeah, Bandicam does not take care of FPS very well. They just kind of bring it down, like just like that. And mirrorless action, just you know. They're really good with that. They, they 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 take care of your FPS very well, as well as the video quality. And this is just pretty much the best video recording software that anyone can use. And all of these factors don't really matter if you, if you have a good PC, but if you have a medium PC, kind of uh, kind of like a medium, you know, decentish PC, then you know all of this should apply to you as well. This, this all everything I said just a while ago, and yeah. So here are some gameplay comparisons of Action and Bandicam. So this is Deep.io in Bandicam recording. As you can see, it's not that smooth. There's a bit of lag every now and then, but I mean, it, it's playable, but watching it isn't really that fun. And yeah, let's let me just show you a bit more of it. And uh, by the way, Deep.io is a browser game, so this is like me recording my uh, desktop, and yeah. As you can see, there's a, there's a lag every now and then, and the video quality it, it isn't bad, but it isn't that good, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a decent uh, video quality, so yeah, that's the Bandicam Deep.io recording. And this is the... the... What was it called? Mirrorless action video recording. Like, just look at that. It's so smooth. 
and the video quality is just so nice like uh, if you look at the top left corner as you, you, you can see that I'm recording at like 50 FPS and if you if you think the video is cutting out a little bit um it wasn't like that when I was recording it so yeah if you're gonna record um it should be just fine there was just a bit of you know a glitch every now and then um uh, yeah that, that's that's really just all what all that happened yeah it's just as you can see it's a lot better it's a lot better than bandicam the video quality is just really good and the fps is just so smooth i had no issue with the fps so yeah that's deep Dorayo on action now we're looking at a game called paladins which is a fps game you know always good to record and test it out on uh, you know, video recording softwares and things like that, always good. As you can see, this is from Bandicam, and it, yeah, it's not bad actually, it's pretty smooth to be honest, but uh, the FPS I think was around 40 or something like that, and it, it wasn't really that bad actually, it was pretty good as I just got a hexa kill, but <laughs> it's not like it was an actual gameplay, and yeah, there, there, there you go. This is Paladins on Bandicam. Now this is Paladins on action, on mirrorless action. Um, as you can see, it is very smooth. Um, that glitch is happening every now and then. Uh, I don't know what exactly it is, but I mean, I, I don't think it's gonna be there once, once like I upload the video. But it's just cutting out a little bit. But it's absolutely smooth. When I was playing the game, I had no issue whatsoever. It was around. Um, close to 40 to 50 FPS and it was just really good so this is Paladins on mirrorless action okay so then I decided to step up my game and bring it to max quality because I found out that it wasn't on max quality so I bought everything up to the highest quality and I'm getting a solid 40 frames here it isn't too bad but yeah as you can see right there, it's a 40 uh, FPS, it's it's pretty good, it's not that bad, very very playable and very watchable, nice quality as well, not that bad. So yeah, ba Bandicam isn't really that bad, but if you're gonna step up your game and get a really, a really good quality, high FPS video, you should really go for action. So this is Paladins on a better quality on Bandicam. Now this is the same on action. You can definitely see some differences. The quality is just much better. And the FPS, you can just find a tiniest difference still, but you know, it's kinda like 10 FPS difference, which is actually kinda big. Um yeah, it's pretty good. This are just yeah, this is paladins on realist action. So there we go guys, those are just some of the gameplays, com gameplay comparison of each, or, or just two games basically between Bandicam and Fraps. Okay, and I'm sorry for not keeping the exact count of the FPS, but yeah, um, those were just some kind of guessing. <laughs> as far as I remember from when, I'm, when I was recording the gameplay, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.